some particular forces. The gravitational force Fg. A gravitational force Fg on a body is a pull that is directed towards a second body. We usually consider situation in which the second body is Earth and the force that pulls on it directly toward the center of Earth, that is, directly down towards the ground. Fg equal to mg is g is always towards the center of Earth. We should assume that the ground is at an inertial frame. So Fg equal to mg. Okay. Where g represent the free fall acceleration vector. Now if we take we you have the choice to take the wider direction positive is upward and g is always downward so in this case we write it equation yeah we write minus j f g okay we have direction here minus g because it's go down this f g is m g minus m g okay if you like to choose reference y positive downward then g is downward the positive number so First two are term the same, Fg equal to Mg. But in this case, we choose the reference direction. We can write it, G is a positive number. So it's equal to Fj, and Fg is Mg. So this one is minus Mg. This one is Mg. Which one is right? Okay, they can both right or they can both wrong. Depends on how you match them. Okay, this formula for this reference. This formula for this reference. Wait. The force exerted by Earth is called the weight W of a body. This force is directly toward the center of Earth. The force is due to an attraction called a gravitational attraction between the two bodies. The weight W of a body is primarily equal to the magnitude Fg of the gravitational force on the body. Notice that primarily. Uh, we will talk about this in detail later. Now compare the weight and mass. Weight is a vector, okay? It's not constant. At different places you take up objective weight, it different, okay? And it's not intrinsic property of the body because it changes okay and mass is a scalar is constant is intrinsic of the body everywhere mass is the same but weight are different unit the weight is called a newton the force mass is a kilogram mass okay how do you measure it okay this weight we use the spring scale and mass, you must have, compare, use the balance, compare with other things, okay? Now, we use the spring uh, balance to measure, okay? You measure this one in different place, you get different answer, okay? And mass, we use the balance to compare with the standard mass. So you, mass you measure it everywhere in the world, they get the same answer. Next, normal force. When a body is pressed against surface, the surface, even a seemingly rigid surface, deforms and pushes on the body with a normal force N that is perpendicular to the surface. They call it normal force. We, we write the free body diagram on this body, two forces act, acting on it. One is gravitational force, one is normal force. And these two forces equal in magnitude, opposite in direction. So this body is balanced. Sigma f equal to zero. It's at rest. Also n minus mg, okay, m a y equal to zero. So n equal to mg, okay. 
F equal to mg, N equal to mg, okay? Remember, the normal force equal to mg is only in this case. We never def define uh, the, the mu, okay? Anyway, okay. Friction. If we slide or attempt to slide the body over a surface, the motion is resisted by a bonding between the body and the surface. We discuss this more in the next chapter. The resistance is considered to be a single force, F, called frictionless force or simply friction. This force is directed along the surface opposite the direction of the intended motion. Sometimes, to simplify the situation, friction is assumed to be negligible and the surface is said to be frictionless, no friction. Tension. When a core or a rope cable or other such thin object is attached to a body, this one, a body, and pulled out, the core is said to be under tension. This was under tension. It pulls on the body with a force T, whose direction is always from the body. This T is all leaving the body. Okay. Those directions are always from the body and along the core at the point attachment. The core is massless in our study. Then you see you have a pulley, this tension is equal to this tension, this tension is equal to this tension, because they are frictionless, okay, and they're light. If they are not frictionless, they are not light, that would be different, okay. Now, if a coat is at rest, then we see the tension is uniform. Now, let's look at a section of it, mass M. We have two tension. On the right is T2. On the left, T1. Our V, we have so T1 minus T2 equal to MA. If this is light, that means massless. This is zero compared to this one. In this case, T1 equal to T2. Okay? Or it addressed A is zero. So this is zero. Okay. So that's one, the tension in the row uniformly equal to one thing. 